All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, that was a bit crazy. I apologize about was that. It, was, it, was it too loco? Yeah, it was way too loco. You know, because we are on two local radio and everything. I don't know about you, but I am extremely excited. In less than an hour, we're going to have the Garage Boys. And I love the Garage Boys. Uh, not like that. That's must tune in. Yeah, I imagine there's going to be a lot of people uh, tuned in. And hopefully some of them will be calling. Um, That'd be cool. Y- you know, um, they play like it like the most fanciest places and they're just like your average you know next door you know kind of band Mm -hmm. they're absolutely amazing i love the garage boys and what they do and everything one of the best kind exactly all right and we played uh year of october golden days i'm not sure people heard it but i'll play it again a little later but here's some belfast six pack smoke pot drink beer it is memorial day Smoke a pot, drink beer, smoke a pot.
All right. Uh, we, you know, uh, that seemed like a good song for today. Does it? Yeah, it does. Is that something I need to be doing? <laughs> Why not? Can we put that on the business account? <laughs> All right. That's what we'll do. <laughs> it's a business expense. It's only a business expense if you're in Denver. <laughs> Move me. <laughs> Uh, uh, but are you excited? At 8 o'clock, we have the Garage Boys. Oh, gosh. What a question. That's silly. <laughs> well, you said you did your homework, but we'll, so we'll see what questions you come I, up with. You know what I was busy with at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Uh, oh, my All God. All right. So are you enjoying your Memorial Day? I have to go in this, like, well, yeah, I mean, it, it was really relaxing at first. Yeah, it was very relaxing at first, and i I just been home alone, really, believe it or not. I mean, no party plan, nothing, and then it's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to talk about it, because it's embarrassing, and then, um, yeah, I will say this, though. <laughs> Don't try to be a friend with somebody who keeps complaining that no one wants to be around them. Ah, okay. okay. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. So you were hanging out with Macaulay McCulkin then. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Mongrel, C and a half. thought that was a drinking thought. <laughs> it could become one. It, it could result, uh, drinking could result from it. How do you get, you're not just a bitch or a C and a half, the drinking? <laughs> I'm sorry, but th that word is not an insult to me. It actually kind of makes me feel a little friendly and fluffy. Ah. Mm hmm All right. She likes that it's word. It's exciting. I don't know why. Like, it's supposed to be an insult. And I'm like, really? Turns me on. Alrighty, then. 
All right. In uh, fact, from where I come from, that's a marriage proposal. All right. Uh, on the, you know, uh, the drinking day or whatever, um, you, you know, um, uh, you know what Memorial Day is about and whatnot, but. Yes, actually, in a very somber, I, I'm more somber about it, spent the day with a, a Korea War veteran, really cool guy. Well, Memorial Day, if I'm not mistaken, is it's paid respects to the fallen, correct? And Veterans uh -huh, Day uh -huh. is... So I thought I'd spend time with him. He went through the war. He's eight, about 86 years old now. And my grandfather is a living World War II veteran. Yes, he is, and he's alive. Well, where I come from, to pay respects to somebody is to go out drinking. <laughs> I know it sounds... Well, uh, grab a veteran, I guess go drinking with them. I don't know. So here we go. We're going to play Last Day's Pay, Pub Crawler's Anthem. Oh, when the sun goes down on this wasted town and the dreams of the young men die. If you feel beat down every time you turn around, then you're no different than I. It's on the man up with an empty cup and a guitar on the side of the street Boil up more noodles and boil your brains in the upstairs summer heat And every day that passes you survive And sooner or later this town will have to kiss your ass goodbye You're not alone, we're there, we're here and everywhere Going through the struggle and not knowing what to do We've been down and out and black and blue But in the end we're always gonna make it through If you wanna be tough and you wanna be free And you want to feel alive First you gotta learn how to take the hits and never say die. say die Cause the time for sitting on your ass has long since passed away Our trials may be different but the suffering's the same And every day that passes you survive And sooner or later this town will have to kiss your ass goodbye or not alone We're there, we're here and everywhere Going through the struggle and not knowing what to do We've been down and out and black and blue But in the end we're always gonna make it through And every day that passes you survive and sooner or later this town will have to Kiss your ass goodbye, you're not alone We're there, we're here and everywhere Going through the struggle and not knowing what to do We've been down and out and black and blue But in the end we're always gonna make it through All right, so what did you think of Pub Crawler's Anthem? Are you asking me what I think? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. What, who else would I be asking? It's toe tapping. Yeah, I, I know. I was going dum dee dum 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 You do that very well. Well, uh, sometimes I can hold a beat. Sometimes, not all the time. All right, anyway, uh, here is the grave it's jinglers. It's what you hold it with, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they say I'm loco. All right, uh, here is the grave jinglers. I fought the law. I've done that quite a few times. Uh oh. I 
believe this is the cover. I will have a major, major announcement later on Facebook, so you better tune in. <laughs> this is a major one. All right, but anyway, right now I want to play a fleeting farewell, the song you're about to hear. <laughs> Yeah. 
right, all right, that was a fleeting farewell. This song you're about to hear. <laughs> That's the name of the track. I'm not kidding you. And, uh, you know, next we're going to play the song that we played before, but some people may have not have heard uh, because of, uh, you know, issues we were having. We're always having issues. Why is it we're always having issues? Well, cause just to make things exciting, I guess. <laughs> All right, but this is a band out of Nashville. They're called Year of October. They're a blues rock band, and they're awesome. This is Golden Days. That was year of October, golden days. All right, anyway. All right, so so what do you think? I like them. I mean, what? I know that sounds really generic, but I like, I like hearing them. I do. All right, well, what if we play some systematic hate or a band out of Florida, and this song's called Kick Rocks. Do you like sounds the good. Kick Rocks? Sometimes. I wanted to earlier. All right, here's some kick rocks.
that was kick rocks by systematic hate what did you think about that well i was busy listening i gotta tell on you ray ray i you must be like totally jazzed like because these last two songs or three you've been like do 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 along with it and so (laughs) i've been listening to you why are you listening to me? I'm not it, I'm not all that's cracked up to be at everything. Because it's funny. All right. No, but I, I did. I listened, and I like it. I mean, that's really cool. I mean, but it, I just wish I could have hear, heard it a little bit more clear on my end, but, you know. Well, then turn your damn computer on. <laughs> I'm oh, just kidding. Nice. I'm just kidding. How about some blindside thunder? You know, the- I'm going to go do that. Tequila.
<laughs> all right, all right. That blindside thunder. And you know what? Let's play some Charetta next. Here's Lights uh, Out. You repeat. <laughs> That was Shredder after we played Blindside Thunder Tequila. And have you noticed? I like that. Which one did you like? Well, both, but the one that you just played. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to confuse you some more. Here's some Dividing Eden Lullaby. shall change you feel as though you've lost your place this brand new day won't wait take your hand in yours and say she'll be as always you wish that you could switch the rules heal it Dreams away. Oh. 
All right, that was Divided, Eden, Lullaby. What did you think about that? It's true. Music can soothe the beast. All right, next we're going to do two in a row from the Garage Boys before they join us in less than 11 minutes. Here is Beer Back Rider, followed by our the hit song, Drink, Fight, Fuck, mm-hmm. by the Garage Boys. In that order, always. Drink, fight, fuck! Hey! Barry bars 
are not our thing Happy hour begins to ring Stop before I laugh and sing Three, five, four. The music here is getting dull So Mikey starts cracking skulls And we're laughing at it all Three, five, four. You know what? That song's so good, I want to do it one more time. What do you say? Yes. Here we go. Drink, fight, fuck once again. Right, that was drink, fight, fuck for the second time. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> We're not going to play it three times in a row. Come on now. We're actually uh, waiting on the Garage Boys. They should be here any moment. Uh, they may be a little late. It is Memorial Day. They, they get a pass. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Imprint, Monsters Like Us. Wasteland, to find myself alone again, and everything I love is gone. 
All right, that was Imprint, Monsters Like Us, and we're still waiting on the Garage Boys. So uh, here's uh, some kill the sound, losing control. Are you still here, Miss uh, DJ Meridium? Yes, I was just thinking. You were thinking, huh? <laughs> All right, here's some kill the sound, losing control. It kind of hurt. <laughs> Don't have a brain fart. I do. I'm having... <laughs> The baddest band out of Vegas. This is the Garage Boys. All right. Hey. Cool. Mike brought his mom. <laughs> Mike. That, True. Hey, mom. Not much of a badass mom. rock band. We brought our mommy with us. Say hi, mom. <laughs> cool. Hey, you know what? It's Memorial Day and everything. and Y'all have a show later, don't you? Yeah, we do. We gotta. We gotta leave. We gotta leave in twenty minutes for it. <laughs> no, I can turn it down. I got the we can hear him better. Yeah, we're, well, gonna, we're, we're gonna glad you up. made it. We're gonna put you guys on speaker so we can hear you better. 
Oh, uh, that, that's fine. That is fine. All right. Well, it, 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 except for we can't hear you now. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, God, is that better? Oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, uh, so, right. so, so, what, what is up with you, bad boys, lately? Tell them, Mikey. Well, first of all, we're gonna donate. Or, well, not donate, but we're gonna shout out the um, tonight's performance. All the the vets serve past, present, and future. Yeah, good idea. Mike. So, yeah. um, so yeah, big shout out for Memorial Day. We did that at O'Shea's last night, and then we're actually. Playing some country tonight and tomorrow. We got back from Colorado, which was awesome. We did a nice uh, cancer fundraiser, actually, for a little girl out there. So, That's sweet. You know, we've been, the karma is good these days for the garage yeah. boys. Let's say that much. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, supposedly, yeah. uh, y'all have an album coming out, a new one coming out, correct? It is out. It's out, yeah. it's out but it's the official release is June 16th. So oh. It's out and ready. It, it, did you get your cop? Did you get your copy of Sergeant Peckers yet, Ray Ray? <laughs> Is that really the name of it? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the name of it. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, uh, you, you know what, uh, DJ Meridium over here, who's being quiet, uh, wow. wa- wanted to know if the if it's in that format, the drink fight fuck. <laughs> yeah, is it always in that order? For you guys, <laughs> uh, yeah, not necessarily. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, Aaron leaves the fighting out. Yeah. Usually, it's fuck, fight, drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it works out that way, doesn't it? <laughs> but hey, guys, I know I'm I'm really shy. I'm feeling very diffident tonight because I'm just getting to know you guys. I mean, for the first time, I am. But uh, what can we expect in your upcoming album? Ooh, that's wow. a good question. <laughs> I'd say a bit of everything. What kind of music do you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you like? There's something on there for you. A lot of bipolarisms. <laughs> I think it's a lot more polished, though, as, as opposed to the first one. You know, we sort of find our groove. And even though um, we, we kept the same theme going of writing songs of different genres, there's this cohesiveness. And uh-huh. we just got more comfortable with the recording process. Aaron pr- uh, produced this one. And he's a lot more familiar with that oh. stuff. So, I, personally, I think the sound on this one's awesome, considering we're doing it ourselves at uh, Helmet Studios. <laughs> right, um, right. Yeah. And, I don't um, tell her why we call it Helmet Studios. I have well, got to know. know. Go ahead, I'm sorry. First. Oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my own voice, darling. No, <laughs> right, exactly. I thought you were finished. I'm sorry, because it's hard for me to hear. I'm, I'm totally joking, but... um. We were just going to say that we were the world's first all-circumcised rock band. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually made an LLC for all our stuff, and it's Helmet Records. <laughs> and um, Sergeant Peckers, we thought it would be kind of funny. So. so, Liz, that was a good idea, getting him circumcised when he was a wee little baby. <laughs> 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 well, we couldn't afford a, a good oil. <laughs> We all take each other's word for it that we're circumcised, too. We don't really know. Nah, I show it all the time. You know. <laughs> I think the only one I haven't seen is Craig. <laughs> You're up, buddy. It's a good thing we're not Skyping right now. Huh? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, we call back on FaceTime here? <laughs> well, you know, we, well, I guess we could at some point. You, you need... Oh, you need uh, my Skype address, my my number, my name. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, on, on, in Drink Fight Fuck, uh, the intro is rather visionary. Who thought of that? Was it a collaboration or or what? Yeah, I think that was Aaron and me that did yeah. that at the beginning. We thought that guy should be cool. You, you know, hear that? You hear that? How modest they were. Oh, that was me and Aaron. You know, that yeah. wasn't a collaboration. Yeah, the collaboration. The noob, the noob had nothing to do with that song. Just remember that. We can tell you who didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> the dumb drummer and the dumb guitar player. Yeah. So, I, you know, yeah. it's just really First enjoyable. Second place here, they're throwing under the bus, huh? <laughs> but they, they have the most sex, though. <laughs> Isn't that cool? When's the last time you heard backpipes on a song? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and would you all uh, classify yourselves as like a modern punk band or more of a rock band? Rock. That's a rock band. Yeah, it's a yeah rock we're not band. really punk. we got some flavors of that, but... I think punk is more of an attitude as opposed to a stylistic audio <laughs> genre. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. 
Like, they had punk rock bowling here in town last weekend, and I was, like, I was embarrassed for them. Everyone had a glass T-shirt on and, and sadly mohawk. enough, a mohawk. And I thought punk was about being an individual, and I was ashamed looking at everybody dressed the exact same. It's like the South Park. <laughs> <laughs> Lousy conformist. Well, how do you be an emo? You just have to dress exactly like we do, listen to the same music as we do. And, you know what I mean? It's so backwards. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, then you're a traditional rock and roll band. <laughs> the kind of. <laughs> well, depends on what song you listen to. It's, it's so yeah, we actually um, paid homage to one of Craig's friends from back home, Fred Spears. Um, we covered one of his songs as like a little tribute, which was really cool. And that's yeah. more of a southern. It's kind of a country Something. blues sounding song. It's, there's all kinds of stuff on the record. Is that going to Oklahoma or don't go to Oklahoma? Don't go to Oklahoma. Don't, Oklahoma. don't go to Oklahoma. The bar's closed down at night. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so obviously your copy didn't arrive in the mail before the interview. <laughs> well, it, it might have, but I haven't checked the mail. <laughs> uh. um, but I, I definitely will, because if that's the case, I, I'll find a way to burn it. <laughs> I'll find a way to play your songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it depends on whatever song you put on. You might think we're a country band or a blues band. Yeah. That, or 80s rock, 80s rock sounding song on there. There's yeah. A, punk, a couple of punks that Bareback Rider sounds like a Clash song, people say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, you yeah. know, the Drink drink, drink Fight Flux song sounds like an average bar pub song. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Goes over well. <laughs> it, it, exactly. So, so how, how did you all get, uh, you know, invited to, you know, perform at the Toby Keith Bar and Grill? Uh, good question. That's a really good question. Why somebody would bring us in there? But it was, it worked out really well. The uh, we filled in for a band, and then they ended up hiring us for every Monday, Tuesday. So, I think we started learning country about a year ago, just because. Um, in, in some of the trends in Vegas, they go either really, really dancey, where a lot of bands will play to a, a CD or a backing track, and we didn't want to do that. We want to keep everything live, organic, and everything that we're doing. Like, everything you hear in our shows is what we're doing ourselves organically, and so when it came to branch out a little bit and stay working, like, we were playing six, seven nights a week. We thought it'd be a really good idea to um, to go in the country route, and so when we were up in Idaho for, what was the, was the Gooding Rodeo, I Gooding think, Rodeo, right? Yeah, yeah it, it kind of saved our butts because everyone likes the classic rock, but there's all these cowboys and cowgirls out there, and the country really saved us, and so we, we started learning country songs over a year ago. In, in addition to every other song, we're learning or writing, and it just, it was kind of a natural progression, I think. Yeah. Always have to get, have good to have some more stuff in your repertoire. And, and ironically enough, we played the Gillies in Oklahoma, and Arkansas, yeah. but we haven't played the Gillies here in Vegas. So, yeah, we <laughs> and we want to jam with Toby Keith next time he rolls in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Was writing and playing a uh, country uh, was learning that a challenge, or did it just come natural? Not for well, Craig. Take that one, Craig. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> Craig gets to listen to. Well, I'm from Oklahoma, so I've done it in my life, but these guys have never done it. But they, they do a good job on it. It's it's, it's a lot of different animal though. See, Craig would be the modest garage boy. You hear that? You hear he just built everybody up? He's a team player. <laughs> oh. You guys have done a good job. Yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Mm. That was a loving moment. Yeah. That was, Thanks, that was a buddy. Moment. I, I joined my first country band in 1989. So. <laughs> what he's trying to say is 19, uh, 2009, we're all 18 year old good looking kids here. <laughs> I was 12 then, yeah. <laughs> So, 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 were you all surprised or were you all honored? I mean, what did it feel like, though, you know, to be, you know, selected as the Monday, Tuesday band, you know, at the Toby Keith uh, Bar and Grill? It, uh, uh, great. Great. Cha-ching. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 it's, a good, it's, a great, it's a great club to go into. It's, you know, it's a lot of fun. We, and we get to kind of do whatever we want there. We can play. We can play our, both our albums up there as well, you know, so works out awesome. We get paid to play our own music. You know, there's a couple other positives. It's like when we're downstairs outside of Carnival Court, we're playing four sets. That's like, what, a four 45-minute sets. So do the math. That's three hours in 110-degree weather where now we get air conditioning. So, I mean, <laughs> that was a big win for the garage boys this summer. You know, because we're, because we're playing so much, like six, seven nights a week, every week, we don't take any time off. Um, have, having those little things, like it's, it's a different change of pace. It's a little bit slower of a pace in terms of um, not so not so crazy. And so we can still do a good job, yet 
not be burned out. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? What do you guys think? No, it didn't make sense. Okay, that, that, well, may, that makes well, a lot of sense. So it's a big win. Uh, I, I will. I will say this: If we're ever out in Vegas, get us to go ahead to uh, stream your show. <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll be here. Yeah, uh-huh. you know. Um, so, uh, what I love love about you know y'all is the fact that you do you know constantly perform and constantly perform, and from everybody that I've heard of, every show is different, even though you know it's one night after the next. How, how how do you prepare for that? We, we don't we don't prepare for it. We just look at the crowd and start playing. It's called being a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Every crowd is different, though, so you can't make a set list for a bunch of people that when you walk out there, you go, I don't think this is going to work, so we just wing it. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. You know, that's what it's about. Though. Y'all are modest, but in, in reality, y'all really kick ass in everything that Thanks. you do. Thank you. Thanks. We, we're not afraid to pull out one of the 450 songs that we know probably. What he's trying to say is we're not afraid to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, apparently Mike is the only one with kids, so he failed at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a oh, giggle. We got a giggle out of her. Uh, all right, all right. Before we uh, before we go, you have any other questions uh, for him, Miss Meridium? I plead a fifth. You ple- you plead the fifth. I'd rather drink the fifth. <laughs> I plead a fifth, Your Honor. <laughs> no, if, if any of your listeners do want to ask questions, though, you can you can definitely write us on our Garage Boys Facebook, and um, we get, sure we will. answer that. We get we get emails and questions and. Except the only one that you're not allowed to ask us is when we're playing, because you can check on the show dates and do it yourself. Hey, I'm going to be in town uh, seven months from now on these dates. Where are you guys playing? It's like, holy <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me you don't know yet. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, I just love that I'm getting to speak with you right now. That's cool. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So, so till I feel like a virgin. Virgin. Let <laughs> me say virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After the night with the the garage boys, you wouldn't be no more. <laughs> yeah. You. Have uh, five hours of talking and apologizing, <laughs> and then, then the drinking would be the next order. Like I am so sorry. And, let's see. There's drink, and then there's fight, and then yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe last two. Yeah, yeah. Drink, uh, fight, fuck, wet nap, <laughs> alimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd I'd be ed- exiting stage right at that point. I'd be like, uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> You guys should give Mom a new for shout out on two local radio right now. Oh, I know. Oh, well, there she is. She's all she's all shy. Mom is so proud. Oh. <laughs> she's proud of the song "Drink Fight Fuck." I'm sure. Yeah, she raised a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> she raised him right. And girls kiss girls. Oh, jeez. What? Is, well, at least if girls kiss girls, we we'll don't have to worry about any more grandchildren. What's that? Say it again. What What is Mom's name there? Liz. 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 Yeah. Awesome. Well, well, we appreciate that you're here, Liz. We we radio. We appreciate you on uh, on two local radio, Liz. Yes, we we appreciate you on two local radio. Yeah. So just so you know, we have uh, my mom here, and there's also a cute little puppy dog, <laughs> and we like long walks along the beach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got Nacho and uh, Samson here. So, Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's what it's about, though. You play a style of music where it's fun and it's, you know, good to dance to. And it's good because y'all are out in Vegas, you know, out in that area. And that's where people, you know, when they go out there, they want to party. So the Garage Boys just works. It does. It's uh, it's been a good eight years. That's for sure. <laughs> Vegas is probably 
that we're so bipolar musically is everybody has a different t- taste out here. They want to hear something different. Yeah, Probably, yeah. You get mid Midwest people coming in. You yeah. get Southern people. You get people from New York coming in. California so every- people want Sublime. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the Eagles. You have to play yeah. Hotel California and Sublime. Play some Hotel California. Lots of locals for everybody. So, 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 everybody. What, so what is the best feedback you all receive, ever received, and what is the dumbest question you all ever been asked? If you were a street sign, which one would you be? <laughs> that would be the one. That'd be Craig Rhodes. Yeah. Um, you know, actually, we got we got a, re- a review from a guy, a local guy, that uh, wrote us the other Is that day. Billy? Uh, Billy, hey Billy, hopefully, Billy Krause. hopefully he's listening. He, uh, he he praised Aaron's production on it, and he and what he he hoped uh, the most that people would appreciate about about the album was that there was so much di- uh, different stuff that did sound cohesive. Uh, he really appreciated that it wasn't a, a cookie-cutter album. There was so much different uh, things to, to pick from. That was probably the biggest compliment we got, and it was a compliment, not an insult. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I, think, I think everything that y'all are doing is absolutely wonderful. I, I like the fact that y'all are rocking crowds, you having fun. And and then when it comes down to interviews, y'all are just unbelievable. You you never know what y'all are gonna say, and at the same time, <laughs> y- you're real because there's a lot of people that like the you know sugar coat and cookie cut things. So, <laughs> no, no, no. Sometimes I have to promise people who are high risk that we're not gonna say random stuff. <laughs> Could you guys just please not talk about your penises on stage? Okay, yeah, we got a, we had a complaint at one of the gigs from that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We got it. We got we got written up that we were talking about our wieners too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't isn't America about being free? Freedom of speech. Well, there you go. Freedom isn't free, but that, you know. <laughs> well, as long as I think it's funny, it's all that matters. <laughs> A freedom of speech with their exceptions, I know. <laughs> yeah, but there's got to be taste, too. Like, some of the bands are just, like, they got to step it up. And I think that's what's so cool about ours is that since we play so much, it's, it's all about putting, like, the hard work in, even though it is an art form. you got to work hard at what you're doing. And I think that's why a lot of people are getting away from the cookie-cutter stuff. Like, let's just slap a band together. There's no vibe because they don't play. They haven't gone through experiences with one another. I think, I mean, how long has the band been together now? Eight say? years so there you go. Yeah, we just started our eighth year, uh, actually, next week. So so what would you say is the craziest thing that's ever happened on stage as far as, like, technical issues y'all had? Oh, man. What what month? <laughs> what month? Recently? <laughs> Recently? Yeah. Uh, gee, man, you know, well, it was pr- so much stuff happens big- you don't even notice anymore. Yeah. The Reno was funny. The last yeah. happy birthday, that was pretty awkward. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that one. Remember the girl that was... The huge girl. The huge girl that we sang big butts to. And it was awkward. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what happened was, we, was yeah. we were up on stage and we were going to do happy birthday to this uh, this girl, this really hot girl. We get her up and we turn her around and they act like they're spanking her with their guitars on the bass drum. And she, right. puts, she, she turns around with her ass to the crowd and she puts her hands on the bass drum and bends over and the two of them pretend like they're spanking her for her birthday spanking, right? Okay. So now another girl has her birthday too. They get her up on stage. This girl had to been she was she was two hundred and fifty, three hundred pounds, She's something like girl. that. She was portly. <laughs> so so, so the same thing. So same thing. They think that we're gonna be cruel and mean to her and it was we did the same exact thing to her. We bent her over the bass drum and spanked her and she had a great time and it was awesome. Well that was that was awkward and, yeah. and funny all at the same time. <laughs> you kinda had to have been there, like it was like <laughs> There was the one girl that I thought was mentally handicapped that ended up, <laughs> she was just chewing tobacco. That was so funny. That was so funny. So he starts busting my balls saying that yeah. I'm, that I'm uh, teasing her. He's like, she's mentally she's handicapped. Don't, don't, don't tease her. He's like, no, she's not. She's just chewing. <laughs> yeah. She had a over there feeling guilty. He said, like, oh, man, I just made it in front of somebody who's not all there, you know? I she, had a, all bad. she had a big golf ball size of chew in her mouth. So she was, <laughs> she was drooling everywhere. She was getting on her face like, well, she wasn't all there. <laughs> So then I finally figure out that she's just chewing. I'm like, no, she's not, dude. She's just chewing. Hey, guys. Um, seriously, what ha- 
have kept you all on track all this time? Go question. The money. No. What, what have kept you on track? I'm going back to what you were saying before. I mean, you've been playing, what, you say, eight years? Yeah. And what has kept you so focused? Guys, she's listening to all the details. That means she cares. Uh, <laughs> we love to do this, and then we get to pay our bills doing it, so that's even more fun. I think. Yeah, when you can make a living doing something you love. Yeah, we're one of the only bands that that continues to ride the storms in this town. Sometimes we're working too much. Sometimes we're we having to tour, and it's just uh, you know we we kind of do things the way we want to do it rather, and and we we we're self contained. We manage ourselves, so we don't we don't really answer to any agency or anything. And this year too, you know what? We're actually like reaping a lot of rewards of the hard work. Like we've had some really. Uh, Interesting opportunities come our way. We're heading to Sturgis for their 75th anniversary. Sweet. We were chosen out of how many bands? 4,000. Like 4,000. I think we're like one of 11 or something. Yeah. So wow. so all the hard work and all the different gigs we've done has sort of snowballed. And we're really seeing um, some, some I don't know what do you say, like not, not like payoffs, but like like the hard work is coming together. And we're, yeah. we're really seeing, yeah, like results of rewards of our hard work, basically. So the Sturgis is going to be a cool one. We're heading back to Gooding. Um Tahoe is another big yeah, one. Dude, we're doing, doing all the after parties up in Tahoe uh, for, for um, Elton John, Kenny Chesney, and uh, Jackson Brown, and uh, Dave Matthews. And when and when okay. is the and when is the Sturges um, show for? Because that's closer it's, to uh, out here. It's July first to August the third. July thirty first. July third. Duh. This is July thirty first to August the third. It's the Sturges bike rally. Yeah, yeah, the seventy fifth this year. We're gonna be at the knuckle. It's like right in the middle of everything, all the shenanigans. So it's it's a pretty awesome gig. It should should be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Uh, well, it, it it sounds like y'all since last time that we've talked, uh, you know, have had you know many opportunities and everything, and really kicking ass. Yeah, it's been steady. That's good. That's real good. And I'm very, uh, you know, proud and very honored, you know, to have you back on and everything. And I don't want to take any more of your time because I know y'all got to I got to go and everything. But if people want to get your music, uh, wh where can they find your music at as far as go to, the, go to the garage boys band dot com and you can or you can order the CD off that or it's up on iTunes this week. So you can just go to our go to iTunes and, and, or, and download it. Uh, and, and thank you guys for playing all the stuff. We appreciate it yeah, there's a lot. There's videos on YouTube also. Yeah, you can, get, you can check out all the videos on YouTube. We're going to be, as soon as the, uh, we do the official release on June 16th, we're going to release a video every two weeks for, for every song. Sweet. That's, that's okay. absolutely badass. All right, all right. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for, you know, coming on and, you know, joining us and shit. And I hope you're not late to your gig. We'll Thank be good. Thanks, so man. We'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Thanks, All right. Thank you. Awesome. All right. You take care. Right on. Thanks, guys. All right. No problem. Thank you. Bye. 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 Enjoy. Bye. Bye. All right. That was the Garage Boys. What, what, what did you think? They are cute. <laughs> they are cute. <laughs> How did you get cued out of freaking? <laughs> How the hell did you get cued out of what well, they were there, sounding? I mean, uh, I'm not saying I'm like incredibly shocked here, but at the same time, I mean, uh, that's my first time speaking with them. And they're just real quick, witty, and, and uh, they have a heart. And, and I mean, where can you go wrong with those guys? Yeah, exactly. And they've got tremendous music. Uh -huh. And they like to have fun and everything. And it looks like you're on social media checking them out. <laughs> Excuse me? I, I, I guess uh, DJ Meridium's uh, checking out the mail. <laughs> 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 All right, back to the music. Uh, th that was a lot of fun, though. You, you got to admit, yes, that was yes, a yes. lot of fun. Like jazzed. All right. Well, Here's some love sick radio. Numb me up. <laughs> I think DJ Meridium needs to be dumped. <laughs>